a man dies with love in his heart, does he truly die? Absolutely. Why not raise the stakes by sinking everything? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underwater movie fights. Well, how long will that take? For this list, we're looking at those movie fight scenes that take place below the water's surface. And since real is better, we're mostly focusing on real actors diving or real divers acting. And for the most part, not animation. What are you saying? We're in it for the genuine, dangerous struggles below sea level in the name of audience entertainment. And since some of these are the final showdowns of their respective movies, we should mention spoiler alert. 162 meters and 2 minutes and 23 seconds for the new world record right here in the beautiful island of Cebu. Number 10, Amy Sanchez versus Benny Simpson. Deep Gold. I'm in the middle of the ocean with some guy I don't even know. A talented scuba diver gets mixed up in a plot of intrigue and danger when her Air Force pilot boyfriend disappears with millions of dollars worth of gold. Somebody's having fun. Mm -hmm. And this is the climax of that story. The tension in this scene stems not only from that, but also from the fact that one of these characters is a trained freediver while the other is genuinely fighting for his life with a gun. The tension of seeing these two actors go toe-to-toe -to -toe is palpable, but there can only be one victor underwater. Number 9. The Expedition Team versus the Gill Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Well, how was it down there, huh? Oh, fine. Expeditions can be dangerous. Four men dead so far. Especially when there's a murderous, amphibious humanoid monster skulking about. This scene owes its realism to underwater stuntman Rico Browning, who completely owns his portrayal of the Gill Man. After all, dragging people around in a full body rubber suit cannot be easy. At times, Browning held his breath for four minutes straight without releasing air bubbles to simulate the effect of breathing through gills. What do you want to know that for? That move paid off in this scene, where a member of the expedition team finally comes up against the eponymous creature. We go in there, we hit him, and forget him. Number eight, Lieutenant Junior Grade Dale Hawkins versus Ben Shahid. Navy SEALs. Are you still thinking about bad guys? Nothing like a surprise deathmatch to get the blood flowing, especially one to recover some missiles from a violent terrorist group. <laughs> the clarity of the camera work puts this underwater scene up there, but the brutality secures its spot. This fight doesn't even need to be underwater to be good, because it's choreographed and paced as well as any fight on land. And it's just as violent. These guys roll, drag, strangle, then stab. They're not encumbered by the water, nor should they be. They're seals. Well, like the man says, that's what we're paid to do. My name's Nick. Nick? What does that mean? Uh, nothing. My dad thought of it while I was shaving. Number seven, Nick Rivers versus Nigel the Torch, top secret. Okay, let's go. Perhaps the first and only underwater barroom brawl. This one's set in a western saloon with handy stools, chandeliers, and cowboy hats. It's random and unexpected. Actually, come to think of it, it's not so random since this movie parodies tons of different styles. Baby, please, baby, baby please, please, spend this night with me. But when you get beyond the sudden absurdity, you can see its real competencies as a fight scene twisting your opponent off his feet and following through with a cartoony wind-up fake-out punch actually works very well in this world. Something else I forgot. Number 6. Ned Land versus the Giant Squid, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Why? That's a good question. In a film where the ultimate prize is finding the mysterious sea monster, it's not a shock to find a famous underwater fight. Why didn't you say so? This is what I've been waiting for. In this case, the initial attack begins underwater, but when electrical charges fail to thwart the giant squid, the creature surfaces. And that's when the real fun begins. 
to ensure it was as tense and epic as possible. This expensive scene was shot twice. Look at it again, Professor. I don't want you to forget what you've seen here today. And we think it was worth it to see Kirk Douglas use his harpoon skills and underwater tentacle chops in a fight slash rescue. James Bond, do you have a reservation for me? Ah, yes, Mr. Bond. Number five, James Bond versus Dr. Kananga, Live and Let Die. It's James Bond versus his latest nemesis, Dr. Kananga, in this short clip that doesn't quite end how we expect it to. But that's what makes it so good. Hey, easy, Charlie. Let's get there in one piece. People usually get eaten alive in shark tanks, not force-fed shark gun pellets that turn them into human hot air balloons and make them explode on the ceiling like a firecracker in a piñata. And 007's closing one-liner punctuates the entire action sequence the way only Bond can. Well, he always did have an inflated opinion of himself. Go, go, go! Number four, Chan Ka Kui versus Henchman, Police Story 4, First Strike. What's going on? I don't know. Jackie Chan is a cop from Hong Kong who's trying to find an illegal arms dealer. When I got a chance, yeah. That leads him to an aquarium and one of the longest and funniest underwater fight scenes. Shark! Sharks don't bite. Go back in. Which proves that the fun of Jackie Chan movies isn't diluted when water is added. The martial arts skills are top-notch, the visual gags are hysterical, and the choreography is even cooler when you see the strength of each punch and kick, reduced slightly by the underwater handicap. Plus, there's a knife attack and gunfire. Let's go! What more could you want? Number three, James Bond versus Gunman, Skyfall. This one's not only underwater, it's also under ice. After 007 lures big baddie Raul Silva and his men to his childhood home in Scotland, it's exhausting. the secret agent must fight them off to protect his boss M from Silva's vengeful intentions. Free both of us. Free both of us. With the same bullet. And when the situation gets too hot for him to handle, he decides to cool things down. But as if fighting off an armed henchman underwater isn't enough of a problem, Bond is then faced with the question, now how do you get out? Let's finish this! Uh, Number two, Kaijus versus Jaegers, Pacific Rim. We were gonna leave out all the aliens and CGI, but an exception must be made since robot fights at the bottom of the ocean have never been done this spectacularly. That is, if they've ever been done before at all. Keep talking. There's as much destruction as the sea can handle when the Pacific Rim nations take on all these hellish creatures with their human-piloted WMDs. I'm a burn this son of a bitch! But when the largest kaiju the world had yet seen shows up, it's category five, the first ever, the annihilation gets even more intense. Before we dive into our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions.
Number one, Martin Riggs versus Wa Sing Ku, Lethal Weapon 4. Yeah, okay. It's a dark and stormy night. Riggs and Murtaugh have tracked their Chinese triad target to appear. Hey, if he gets away, we can track him down later on with a, well, you know, with a howitzer or something. Yeah. <laughs> and since that Chinese triad target happens to be Jet Li, you know that some above water one against two ass kicking follows. <laughs> However, when the ground crumbles beneath their feet and Jet Li and Mel Gibson are thrown into the water, and you no longer feel sorry for the cops for getting their asses handed to them. Stabbings, chokings, impalings, and drowning attempts don't phase this bad guy, but automatic weapon fire sure does. Do you agree with our list? Relax. Which underwater movie fight did we miss? Hey man, what's with the goggles? You look like you're underwater already. Eat shit! To drown yourself in more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You must go now quickly. If they find out you've seen this, your life will be worth less than a truckload of dead wrecks in a tampon factory.